It's not easy to express my feelings regarding the Book of Mormon. One thing is sure, that it brings great joy, great peace to my heart. Often, when I find myself alone reading it, I feel comforted, safe. I feel the Father is close to me. The Book of Mormon is, uh, I think, for us in this time. Because it is so difficult in this world, it is hard to remain steadfast. And if we didn't have the Book of Mormon, it would be easy to go down the wrong path and we would do a lot of bad things. It has definitely changed my life. If I didn't know the Book of Mormon, I would have a different relationship with God and Jesus, and I would know them as well. Alma is a wonderful example to me. There are many parts of Alma that I can always learn from, and I want to be like him. When he made mistakes, he took a look at his life and repented. Also, he chose to return to Heavenly Father and committed to live his teachings. I think it took a lot of courage. I like the one that says, I, Nephi, having been born of guilty parents, therefore was taught somewhat in all the learning of my father. I like that because I have the testimony that I was born of guilty parents. My favorite part of the Book of Mormon is in 3rd Nephi 11, when Christ appears to the Nephites in the Americas. I love that chapter for all the teachings Christ gives to the people, and especially when he teaches the children, takes them one by one and blesses them. Even though Nephi was one of the youngest, he could guide his brothers through his example. My favorite story in the Book of Mormon is Enos, because he endured and persevered in everything that he went through, and that he kept praying the whole day and night, and God answered him. I think that is very beautiful. If you endure to the end, God will always answer you. It makes me feel very happy to know all those stories and everything that happened in the Book of Mormon happened right here on this land. It helps me to come closer to the Book of Mormon. Also, the simple fact that our Lord Jesus Christ visited this land, all this is very important to me. Words of a book like heavenly sounds have spoken to us from out of the ground. This voice from the past now heard in. It's amazing what the Book of Mormon's done for me. I, I've just been home from my mission for a few months. It was a fantastic experience. Now, looking back on it now, it's hard for me to believe that, that I almost didn't go. I guess for a while there, I got a little bit sidetracked. I was, I was a freshman in college, and I guess this was really the first time I'd been away from home, and my parents went around to tell me what to do. It was kind of a new freedom for me. Uh, one Saturday afternoon, I remember a friend of mine came over. She brought with her a friend who just bought a new motorcycle. So what do you think? 
whose is this? Is it yours? Yeah. It's incredible. She knew I loved motorcycles. Most bike I've ever seen. Did. I, I couldn't believe it when he asked me if I wanted to take it for a ride. I mean, not just around the block, but for a real ride. Acceleration was unbelievable. This was power, real power. I felt like, like I could do anything. Like I was on top of the world and nobody could touch me. I loved that bike, I wanted that bike and immediately I began to plan how I was going to own one. I'd saved quite a bit of money for my mission. Enough to almost pay cash. For a while there I I let my imagination run wild. I realized that I could own the bike of my dreams. I'd always planned on a mission, but, but now I really wasn't sure. I imagined how I'd feel trying to teach the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon when I wasn't even sure myself. How do you know if it's true? I mean, do you know it's true? At that moment, I came face to face with the reality that I didn't have a testimony. I believed the Book of Mormon was true, but I didn't know. Hey, you've got it for one hour. I continued to pursue the motorcycle anyway, but test ride after test ride only made it worse. What if the Book of Mormon was true? What if the Lord expects me to go on a mission? I realized that if the book was true, then the Lord wanted me on a mission, and the motorcycle really didn't matter. I had to know. If someone had offered me a motorcycle or the answer, I'd have taken the answer. And this was not the first time I'd prayed about it. I must have asked a hundred times to know if the Book of Mormon was true. But this was the first time that I'd asked the way Moroni tells us with real intent and with a sincere heart. And what I felt, it was a powerful feeling that I knew that I needed to go on a mission because I knew the Book of Mormon was true. I feel that I am only a young girl, um, not able to do much, but by reading the Book of Mormon, I understand that, that I am someone important and that I can become perfect like God and have eternal life. I feel very happy to know somewhere in another continent there are people reading the Book of Mormon like I am reading it. I know they probably have similar problems as I do, the same doubts and challenges. If everyone in the world could read the Book of Mormon and follow its principles, then the world would be a great place. I mean, that, that book is just perfection and if everyone could do that, we'd have a heaven on earth. It is the most precious book I have in my life and by reading it I really feel the Spirit of the Lord I really I really feel his love and that he gave me this book to help me you can feel the Spirit of, of Christ when you read the words you don't need a vision to know that the church is true you just have to read the words that, that God has put there for you to read words of a book that shine as a light have opened our eyes and restored our sight in this light of the Lord that shows us the